Hey there folks, welcome to day 58 of my year of solo board gaming. Uh, as I explained yesterday, I'm going to be putting these uh, videos up in a little bit more of a raw state, uh, simply so that I can do the playthroughs without having to worry about the going through the editing process as well as the um, as well as the exporting process, which is really just taking up a whole lot of time right now. Uh, so these, uh, hopefully this is nice and presentable the way that it is, um, and hopefully I don't get interrupted, because uh, that is pretty much the biggest reason why I had to do some editing in the first place was just simply to excerpt out various uh, clips uh, from it where uh, you know somebody might call me in the middle. Uh, we have just, uh, we're playing our second game of Horrified. We played yesterday with Monsters 4, 5, and 6, which were the Creature, the Wolfman, and the Mummy. Uh, uh, sorry, the Invisible Man, not the Mummy. And we got, uh, we were doing well, we were doing really well, and we got an on-the-move card for the second time that killed us. Uh, we basically lost a lot of villagers really quick. Uh, in that move. Uh, so we are set playing with the other three monsters. We're playing with Dracula, the Mummy, and the Frankenstein, and the Bride. Uh, and the way that this one works is that you first have to do de destroy these little coffins all around the map. Uh, once you destroy the coffins, then you can take on Dracula. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's just you need red cards, a lot of red cards, and you need to get a lot of movement around the map. Uh, then, with the Mummy, you have to get to the museum and you can use uh, yellow cards for their strength and move these little things over here. They're set up so that the one, two, three is on this side and the four, five, six is on this side, just in random order. And you have to get the one to over here, you have to get the three over here and so on. You have a little center space here that you can move things with. So it's a little bit of a spatial puzzle game. Finally, with the Frankenstein and the Bride, you have to play yellow cards in the Bride space or blue cards in the sorry, blue cards in the bride space or yellow cards in Frankenstein space. And that will allow you to basically show their humanity. Uh, you're trying to get their humanity up to a certain point. The bride is easier to convince. The bride's closer to being human. So they, if you get them up to eight, Frankenstein up to 11, then if they meet uh, and their dials are already flipped, then they have found humanity and they leave the game. Uh, so uh, very heartwarming in that one. Uh, it's Again, this is one of the reasons why Horrified is so popular. It is a very thematic game overall, uh, and it's really well done in terms of keeping a nice level of gameplay without making it too complex. Uh, we've not set any of the items out. We've not chosen a character. So let's do the items first. Then we'll choose a character. Now, the only characters that are off limits are the Courier, because the Courier is not used in solo play, as well as the Professor, who is garbage, is a garbage character, and should never, never be used, ever. Sorry, Professor. Uh, we're gonna get a bunch of items out here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. I know where I'm going first. Then 11 and 12, there we go. One more for the docks and one more for the laboratory. Okay, now to find out which character I'll be playing with because it's not the garbage professor. We'll be playing with the archeologist. Okay, not a great character either uh, in my humble opinions, but they do start at the docks and they do have the advantage of being able to pick things up from adjacent locations, which is really nice. Uh, that means that when I go to pick up something, if I move to the tower, I can pick up stuff from here. Uh, I think special actions are not limited to once per turn, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to look that up really quick. Uh, as far as I can tell, there is no limit to special actions. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, we're going to start at the docks here. So our first move is simply picks a bunch of stuff up. We're going to get all these. I think I might have had one extra card from before, or one extra token from before, so sorry about that. That should have been in there. Uh, we're going to start with these. We're going to go, that was one, two, three, four. We're going to try to just get over to the mansion to pick those up. Um, but that is the end of our actions. So the first thing, oh, I forgot to draw a perk card too. All right, uh, that is move the mummy however we want to. If no hero has the soul sign, give it to the current player. Move the hero with the soul sign three spaces towards the mummy. Awesome, so I'm the only player, 
So I get the soul sign and I move one, two, three spaces closer. Now the Wolfman moves, Dracula moves, and the Invisible Man moves. So it's just Dracula. They'll move one space. Uh, and now it's my turn. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick up Uh, let's pick up all of these and all of these. So that's two moves. Three, and we'll pick up this as well. And on the next turn, we'll basically try to see how much of the mummy thing that we can solve. We're putting ourselves at a bit of risk here, obviously. Uh, let's see, two items. Oh, I forgot to put items out. There were no items on that, so I did not forget to put any items out. So two items. As you know from the last game, I, den I definitely tended to mess up with that forgetting to basically put things out. Uh, we've got one at the barn, one at the tower. Uh, the mummy goes and we'll roll three dice. Uh, they'll attack for one. We'll go ahead and lose the, uh, the mansion one. Uh, and then creature and then Frankenstein will go one as well. And they are always trying to move towards each other. I don't think that they are trying to move towards villagers, uh, per se. But now it is our turn. So now we can go ahead and actually do this. So we'll play this four here first. So how much of this can we actually get done now? So the one can come down here, five here, one up there. That puts the one in place. Uh, and then move five, six, three, two... Yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of moves that we can make. Uh, so we'll do that. Do it this way. We'll do one, two, three, four. Not good. Yep, that's all four of those. Uh, we can now do one of our threes. One, two, three. We'll do another one for three. One. We gotta swap these around, unfortunately. Two. Three. And I don't think there was any way to do it, unfortunately, uh, given the way that it was set up. One. Two. Three. And then in the next turn, we'll be able to use this two to basically finish it off. But we are, we did, uh, we're we're running a little bit of a risk there, to say the least. Uh, let's see. Dr. Reed appears at the Institute. Dr. Reed. Uh, here we go. At the Institute. The creature, uh, Dracula, is going to move one. The creature of the, from the Lack Lagoon will not move. And we're also supposed to put out three items. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. What we need is a red item now to pop up here. Unfortunately, that does not appear that's going to be the case. Uh, all right. So now it's my turn again. So now I can use this last two here to move one and two. So fortunately now the mummy is the mummy's curse is done, but I still need nine red to stop him. So what I'm gonna do is go two, three, four, and get ready to get some items plus this guy over here who's sitting just mildly, uh, just annoyingly. Um, Place Renfield at the docks. First, we're going to do the three items. We're going to try to actually do the things that we're supposed to do. Dracula is going to get to move twice. And I think that means that they will catch up with us. So shop, barn, abbey. Uh, we place Renfield at the docks. Renfield is where? That's Fritz. I always mix up Fritz and Renfield. Where is he? There's Renfield. He's now at the docks, and we're going to move one, two, and then three, and so he's going to get to attack twice. We've got one item to defend ourselves, and he attacks twice, so awesome. So we lose that, and we get sent to the hospital. The, and that goes up by one. That was not good. That was not good at all. Okay, so it's my turn. I come back from the hospital. One pick this item up, two, three, four. I'm going to move the mummy. I'm going to go ahead and use my power at this point to move the mummy to 
here because I really cannot afford to lose any more items like that. Uh, and I might still, I might still. I'm, I'm definitely not in a good spot. Uh, zero, place Dracula at the crypt. Uh, this monster gets to go. Frenzied monster will get to go. But first we're going to roll two dice for Frankenstein. We're going to lose an item. We'll lose the graveyard shovel. Uh, and then that character will go one. We're not doing well here, I think. Um, we need to take out the mummy. One, two, three, and we'll pick these items up from here. That'll put us in a good spot. This gets put away. Uh, two items. Come out. We get one at the mansion. We get one at the laboratory. Uh, the bride is going to move two spaces closer to Frankenstein, so they'll move here. Uh, and then the creature goes, Wolfman goes, Invisible Man goes. None of them go. None of them are in this game, so that's that. One, two. We'll go ahead and use these items here uh, to defeat the mummy. There we go. The mummy is dead. We don't have to worry about the soul stone. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so that was one, two, defeat, and then three. We'll move that character here. And now we're going to draw another card. Zero, place the creature at the waterfront. No. Nope. Uh, and then we're going to move both the Frenzied Monster and uh, Frankenstein. And I'm just going to check on that. How does Frankenstein move? reading through this quickly. Probably something I should have verified beforehand. So it does look like the when they just move regularly. Uh, when they just move regularly, they just move. So she is going to move one to here. And then we're going to roll three dice. And it's going to be one, so I lose the item. Uh, and then she, there's also move the bride one space towards Frankenstein because of the exclamation point. So yeah. All right. So now I need to get items. Uh, kind of wish there was a way I could get Renfield to come with me uh, so we can get down to the hospital. I think I have to go pick him up. That's one, two, three, four. We'll risk it. I mean, I, I, I don't really have much choice in the matter. The hunt is on, so we're going to put out two items. Uh, fortunately, I don't. the hunted out is not applicable here. Graveyard and laboratory. Uh, and then we've got the Dracula's moving one space each time. So they're going to move to here because there's nobody else out who Dracula would want to seek. So now we're going to go one, two. Oh, we're not going to move that person with. One, two, three. And we'll pick up all these items for later. So now, three, we're going to place Maliva at the camp. And then the frenzied monster is going to get to go, and they're just basically going to kill Maliva, aren't they? Maliva was just at the camp. Dracula was coming along. So camp, tower. We're not doing well in this game. We've not done well in either game, to be honest. Uh, we do, we're doing great, actually. We were doing great in the other game. Maliva, and Dracula's going to move one towards her because she is the closest. Roll two dice, and Maliva is dead. Eva becomes our next victim. All right, so one, two, three, four. Try to get back over to the, try to get down to the graveyard next. See what we can do there. 
We're going to place Chuck and Wilbur at the shop, which is awesome, because that's pretty much where I am right now. But then each of the each of these monsters are going to go. So Docs is one, Institute is another, Laboratory is another, and one extra item there. We're going to place Chuck and Wilbur at the shop. Each of these characters all go one, and Frankenstein rolls for three. One attack, we're going to lose this item, this one thing here, and that's it. All right, so... One, two... Now, I can actually, because I'm on the same spot, I can move that person for three without moving with the rest of them. So that'll be three. Uh, Renfield is saved. We get an a extra card here. Uh, we're going to get overstock. We're going to draw an extra item from the bag. That'll be that at the shop. And then we're going to move one more here. That'll be our fourth move. On the move. Move the frenzied marker to the next creature. Everybody decides that they're going to go try to go on their own. Frankenstein is going to move. And I think we're going to lose the game again on this stupid card. Because Frankenstein's going to get to go. And they're going to get to roll three di two dice, which is enough to kill everyone. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, if I seem bitchy about this, one, two. Okay, so fortunately only one of them dies. Uh, let's make it Wilbur. And then... They'll both move one space, uh, let's see, Bride moves one space towards Frankenstein, not the other way around. One, two, that takes care of the graveyard. Three, let's get the hell out of here, man. Four. Uh, we're going to get Maria at the barn. Maria's now at the barn. We're going to place three items. And, oh, freaking A. No, that's it. We lost the game. So these two both move one towards the nearest person. They are now in the same space. Uh, they run back to their respective corners, raising the terror level by one, and I've lost the game again. I usually don't lose this game. Uh, certainly not this handily. Uh, that blows. That blows big time. I, usually I can I can count on at least one win. Uh, but this this game just basically handed my butt to me. I, I will say, I'm not a fan of either the archaeologist or the professor. The professor's action doesn't seem very strong. Compare that to the scientist. Now, the scientist has the ability... I think it's the scientist. I think it's this nurse character here. So the nurse, uh, what she does... The one that looks like a nurse, but I think is actually... Yeah, scientist, I'm sorry. Is dressed like a nurse, uh, but is a scientist. You may add one to the strength of any item you use. And that means that that mummy thing would have taken, like, one less turn. Because you would have just been able to knock that out. Um, Inspector is not bad because you can move your hero into any non-water space if there's a monster there, which helps. Uh, the mayor's got an extra action, which actually really helps. And then the explorer, because you can just basically jump around the thing, moves really quickly, uh, even though they're limited to three turns. Uh, it becomes less of an issue. Now, the biggest problem with the Explorer is that you tend to lose villagers a lot, uh, simply because the villagers, this is an important distinction, moving is the action of going from one space to the next, and the villager will come with you. If placing, and they are always careful about this, placing your hero somewhere else means that the villager stays behind. Villagers only accompany you on moves, so the Explorer can lose villagers really quick. Wow, we got our butts handed to us on both of those. And I'm not sure what we would have done, should have done differently, what we could have done differently. But that's it. Uh, that is the end of game uh, two of Horrified. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to play some Horrified American Monsters. Uh, I'll see you then. Uh, do all the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more uh, notifications. Thank you, and ciao.